we work a lot with the local community. Um, we work with children, families, young people and community groups um, and we work with very much the local community, so we're people within walking distance of the gallery. My name is South, uh, South London Gallery? My name is... <laughs> and I am the Young People's Projects Manager at the South London Gallery. We Creative is an online community and resource for young people. Um, it's uh, led by young people, so it's led by an editorial board of young people. Um, and as an online community, it has, uh, is a space for young people to upload their work, but also it's a space for critics and curators to come and see what young people are doing and give feedback and support. Um, and as a resource we try and uh, find out about all of the grassroots things that are happening in the art world and, um, and make them more visible um, and make them more visible as a resource for a young person who's thinking of uh, being a bit more independent and I suppose that's our main kind of aim is to try and get that sort of independence of thought that actually you don't have to just go and work for an art gallery, you can just become one yourself or you can make projects happen without needing that sort of institutional backing behind you. Um, and that's what a lot of our resources are about, is about independent publishing, independent creating of an exhibition um, and seeing that young people have a huge amount to offer in those kind of ways um, and what are the ways that they can do that really. Yeah. So during, um, I think it was summer two years ago, we had um, a lot of riots um, and which in, in the media uh, people said were by young people. Um, and it was very uh, local to us. There were a lot of riots that happened and a lot of the young people that we worked with were involved in those riots. And they came to us uh, um, a week later and said, look, we want to discuss this. So we ended up having a discussion about it and then they, felt very much they wanted to share some of their views with other people in the community so they made a zine um, and we worked with them on that um, and then I asked them how they were going to make sure that this zine was going to be seen wide, you know far and wide um, and we and they said to me that uh, give them food and they will come so we held a banquet for 80 young people in the gallery um, Caribbean food which was fantastic and held a debate and they chaired that debate and I think it was the first time that they really felt that there was we were doing a project based on something really really important to them and it's been the ethos for us ever since is everything that we do all our projects are based around an issue that is important to them more than it is to us perhaps or not necessarily more than it is to us but so that it's not just about us it's about them. I think probably young people could still be more critical I think to a certain extent they're critical of, of what they see as here and now and what's happening right in front of them and actually uh, the broader things of, of, of why we're working with them and what they have to offer and what they have to deliver is really hard for a young person to think about and, um, and that's what we're trying to achieve. Um, I, I think, yeah, I think um, critical thinking is really, really important and um, and hopefully we're as receptive as we can be to someone saying that we're doing something the wrong way.